when you have two quantities, okay, that are actually multiplied together. So product means times or multiply. And what you do is you take the derivative of the first quantity, we're calling that u, and you can see the prime just means we're taking the derivative of u, times v, okay, so we're leaving the second quantity alone, then we're adding, and then we're taking the first quantity, leaving that one alone, but multiplying it by the derivative of the second quantity. Sounds complicated, but it's a lot easier in practice. So let me see if I can show you some examples. So here what we're gonna do is, we're gonna think of this 5x as our u, and we're gonna think of the sine x as v. And you can see they're multiplied together because they're right next to each other with nothing in between, right? So we're gonna take the derivative of u, okay, which equals five, okay, because this is derivative of x is just one times five is five, and we're gonna leave the sine x alone. Okay, now we're gonna reverse it. We're going to leave u alone, which is 5x, but we're gonna take the derivative of sine of x, which is cosine x, and that's it, that's your derivative. Now, sometimes some books and some teachers and some students, they'll do it actually you know, in the reverse way, and that's completely fine. They'll leave the first one alone, take the derivative, and then over here, vice versa. So I just think of it in that fashion. I just think of I'm taking the derivative of the one, leaving the other one alone, and then I reverse it. So I do the opposite. Whichever one I took the derivative the first time, I leave that one alone and take the derivative of the other one. Okay, and then you add them together. Okay, so don't get confused by, you know, some books are slightly different. Okay, the next example, we've got seven x squared times cosine x. Let's just call this u, let's just call this v. So we're gonna take the derivative of seven x squared. Okay, we're gonna use our power rule. We're gonna bring down the two, multiply it by the seven, that's 14, and we're gonna subtract one from the exponent. So that's gonna be 14x to the first. Okay, we're gonna leave the cosine alone, cosine x, plus, now we're gonna reverse it, we're gonna leave the seven x squared alone, and we're gonna take the derivative of the cosine x, which is negative sine of x, okay? So some of these you're gonna to have to start memorizing uh, as you go through calculus to make it easier. So derivative of sine is cosine, derivative of cosine is negative sine, and then what we can do is we can you know, the positive and the negative, that's just gonna become minus seven x squared sine x. So we can kind of clean it up or condense it a little bit. So that's your derivative. Okay, last example, uh, we've got the derivative of two x squared plus three x, that quantity times five x plus one. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, Mario, can't I just like foil that out and then just do the, the power rule? Well, you can, but sometimes when you're doing uh, calculus problems, all you really need to do is find the slope of the tangent line at a specific point. You might not wanna you know, go through all that process of simplifying, taking the derivative just to find the slope. You say, well, let's just work with what I have here, and then I can substitute in my x value to find the slope at that point. So basically what I'm trying to say is that it's not always necessary to simplify first. You could just go ahead and say, let's take this first quantity, call that u, the second quantity v, they're multiplied together, we're taking the derivative, we're gonna use our product rule because they're multiplied, right? So derivative of this whole quantity, two x squared plus three x is gonna be what? It's four x, because we're bringing down the two. Two times two is four, we're subtracting one, plus bring down the one, one times three is three, x to the zero is one, so this just becomes three. Okay, so we took the derivative of u, we're gonna leave v alone, which is five x plus one. Now we're gonna reverse it, we're gonna leave the first quantity alone, which is the two x squared plus three x, and we're gonna take the derivative of the second quantity, which is derivative of five x, we bring down the one, that's five, we subtract one from the exponent, that's zero, anything to the zero is one, so that's just gonna become five, and then the derivative of a constant of one is just zero, so this just becomes five. So that's it, so that's your derivative, and you can then use it at that point. If you want to, you can simplify, but it's not necessarily